This is the new Voyager made by LG for Verizon Wireless. It has a touch screen that you can use to interact with the user interface, such as opening up your contacts, jumping into the main menu, seeing your call log or the dial pad, as well as opening up the messaging menu. Taking a quick tour around the phone, on the front you can see the large touch screen. At the bottom are some keys, however, here that illuminate themselves, the send, clear, and power and end keys. The whole screen is a touch interface screen itself. On the left side of the phone is a dedicated camera button, a lock key, as well as the volume toggle, as well as uh, zoom in and out for the camera. On the bottom is the data port. On the right side is the slot for the micro SD and two and a half millimeter headset jack. And there's nothing along the top. On the back you can see the two megapixel camera. And if you're wondering what this is down here, this is the antenna for the TV because the Voyager is media flow enabled and compatible with Verizon's Vcast mobile TV service. Similar to the LG Envy, it opens up sideways to reveal a full QWERTY keyboard where the layout is very similar. You have the five-way control button on the right side of the phone as well as the clear button, speakerphone button, send and end keys, and the full QWERTY keyboard for typing out messages. You also have stereo speakers and a nice wide screen for navigating content on the phone. The basic functionality of this interior screen is very similar to previous versions of Verizon phones, including the Envy. Hitting the center of the five-way navigation pad brings up the menu. And while the style and appearance of the menu has been changed, the basic underlying architecture remains similar. If we were to choose something like, say, the calls, you can see that along the top, are where would have been tabs in previous versions of the Verizon user interface with lists underneath it. Here it has just been revised with some different icons and different animations, but otherwise it's very similar to what you're used to seeing on the Verizon navigation scheme. Interacting with the exterior of the LG Voyager is much more interesting. Hitting the unlock key here unlocks the entire screen. If you tap anywhere in the middle of the screen, you can see a shortcut menu comes up and here you can jump to pretty much any application on the phone. There are four home keys along the bottom that remain, messaging, calls, menu, and contacts. So let's choose the calendar. Hitting the calendar, there's haptic feedback so you can feel some vibration when you touch the phone with your thumb. Here's October. You can go back, scrolling sideways with these buttons up here. Down in the bottom right hand corner is almost always a clear key, which lets you jump back to the previous screen or the menu. Jumping into the camera application, we have to turn the phone sideways. And here comes up the basic camera UI. We'll hit the options button. And you can see you've got a number of different things you can adjust with the, with the phone. You can slide the brightness up and down. You can use a lot of these keys along the bottom of the phone to make a lot of the adjustments you might choose when taking pictures. From here, if you want to get back out to the main screen, simply hit the end key hidden down here at the bottom. Hitting the messaging button will fire up the messaging menu. Here you can see you've got a few choices, but you can also, as on similar phones in Verizon's past, scroll through menu options at the top here with these buttons. So if you hit the wrong application and want to find something else, rather than jumping out to the home screen, you can slide your way sideways with these controls up here. Hitting clear, of course, takes us back to the main screen. This will fire up a shortcut menu for the most, most often used applications. And again, hitting the screen in the middle brings up all of the shortcuts for the entire phone. Let's say we want to compose a text message. Hitting the text message key brings up the number pad so that you can dial in a number. We'll uh, send a text message to information. You can see there's a second address bar so we can add it to a number of different recipients. 
hit OK, and it brings us up to the text screen. Here it's just as a standard T9 or triple tap entry message method. So we'll send a test message here. So there we did pack, up, pack out test. So here we have options, number of different options to choose from. We can add graphics, animation, basically turn it into an MMS if we want. Or choose to just send the message. Making phone calls is as simple as touching the phone button and up comes the standard keypad. From here you can type in a number or jump into your contact list and dial directly from your contacts. And of course the Voyager also has VCAST TV so let's check out the TV turning it sideways. It's pretty good EVDO coverage in this room although it uses media flow and not EVDO to catch signals. You can see the screen is very clear and sharp. So the LG Voyager for Verizon will be available late in the fourth quarter of this year for an as yet undisclosed price. You can be sure though it'll be a few hundred dollars as it packs in a lot of features including stereo Bluetooth, a full HTML web browser, solid messaging applications, and lots of media, multimedia interactivity. It also has a micro SD slot that will support up to 8 gigabytes of memory. The LG Voyager represents a real step up from Verizon and will be a next generation messaging device.